All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukah Kadash, Brakatha. Double honors to the apostles, elders, GMS, who were well. Peace and salutations to the like Akim on the corners, peace and truth, sincerity, peace be unto you. This is Matthew 10 and 32. Whosoever, therefore, shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father, which is in heaven. This is simple, straight to the point scripture that I like, and it's probably going to be my favorite for the uh for the rest of this, probably for the rest of this calendar year. You know, this is, you know, because we're we're close to getting out of this thing, and we how, how dare us, you know, you know deny, you know the the Most High Heavenly Father. And his son, Yahweh Shai, who gave us life, eternal life, simply because we want to blend into the world, because the world might not like us. The world might not love us if we just say, oh, you believe in that Christian. So that that slave religion, you know, forget all that, you know, the most high heavenly father and his son, Yahweh Shai, you know, is, is that's the best gift that man can be given better than any of these corruptible crowns that, you, you know, the sons of man can offer, you know, more precious than any, you know, social media follower, a uh, whole bunch of Facebook likes. Whosoever shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my father, which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my father, which is in heaven. So you got people who will swear up and down God is not real they'll and uh Sirach chapter 13 talks about this very very well and in depth uh -huh. you know it's a uh, very good scripture concerning a very good chapter concerning this so if you if, if you're an atheist you you don't believe in God here's the thing well, that doesn't mean that the prophecies ain't going to come to pass anyways. But the thing is that you're going to be verse 33. It says, I also will I will I also deny before my father, which is in heaven. So here you got Yahweh Shai, the intermediator between us and Yahweh and our father and our heavenly father who's in heaven. He'll be like, nah, I don't know him either. Get away from me, you work as iniquity. I never knew you. Um Okay, um uh, I wanna go. Maybe I should just keep reading down. Verse thirty three Whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my father which is in heaven. Verse 34, think not that I am come to send peace on the earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Right. So the, mo the most high is uh, the word of Yahweh being the word of the most high. You know, most high is basically speaking through his son. And he's saying that I think not I come to send peace, but I send a sword. Now, we live in a world that's liberal today where everybody's about loving everything. All lives matter. And that's how you get through through this world, you know, by being liberal, loving everybody and everything. Now, of course, you want to deny the Heavenly Father if you want to be liberal, if you want to be part of this world, because nobody wants to hear about a guy who says, I come to send a sword. You know, everybody's about peace, love. Uh, what's that? Uh, I have a dream all day, you know, little kids and little black boys, little black girls hugging together and singing songs and, you know, on the merry-go-round. That's what the world wants to hear. They want to hear that, you know, that wrap around reach Christian hood love. They don't want to hear, you know, the heavenly father's words and what he has to say, you know, because this is going to be some offenses in there. So people are going to want to deny that. How, how can you believe in a guy that destroy and kill everybody? So you've got atheists that will deny, you know, God just because they don't like the things that they hear, they, you know, they they want to hear they want to be prophesied deceits verse 35 for i am come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter 
against her mother and the daughter in law against her mother in law. So who wants again, who wants to hear, you know, be part of that if you're liberal, you know, if you got a nice corporate job, who wants to, you know, you know, confess the father and everything that he stands for. Standing for, you know, Israel being the, the best nation, you know, that the Edomites are going in slavery. If you got a, a, a very, you know, glorious job and you're afraid you're going to get caught, then you will deny him. Oh, no, I don't believe in that Hebrew Israelite stuff. Or you might say, you know, you're GOCC, you know, where you can kind of be be, you know, liberal. But also be like, yeah, I believe in God. And yeah, there are going to be some people going to go to hell. But, you know, still five Edomites can make it. And those five Edomites, they'll have children. They'll give birth to a whole nother nation of Edomites. And it'll just be Edomites all up in the kingdom. No, no, this the this being liberal. These liberal I Israelites is not what's most is conservative. Right is right. Wrong is wrong. You know, and most I stands by his law. Verse 36, it says, and a man's foes shall be they of his own household. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Because you're going to be put in a situation sometimes where you might have to choose between your, your, your father, your earthly father and your heavenly father, your mother and your heavenly father or your daughter or your son and your heavenly father. For instance, let's say you're in a situation where, you know, you want to, you know, uh, preach the word or, you know, there's there's a opportunity to meet somebody, you know. And they're receiving the word. And they're listening, you know, this is a person who's really, truly listening. Then all of a sudden you get a text phone call oh uh such such graduations now i need you to pick up or some such such my your son graduations and the next day i need you to pick up his his shoes well at that time what's more important is preaching the word doing the will of the heavenly father forget some shoes you know so you're gonna have to make might make decisions like that you know you might have to make a decision where maybe your mom and the dad will disown you because you're a a christian you know, your, your, your dad was a pastor of of of, uh, of missionary Baptist, uh, whatever church. And he feels like you dishonor him by going to this Hebrew Israelite stuff and hating white people. So you're going to be in a situation. Who are you going to follow after? Who are you going to love? Are you going to do what your earthly father says? Or are you going to do what your heavenly father says? You know, these are just some of the examples. Um, verse 38, he that taketh not his cross and follow not after me is not worthy of me. He that findeth his life shall lose it. And he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. So you're trying to out here, save your life. You're going to end up losing it. You know, you're trying to get, get by in this world, have fun, live your best life. That's when you're going to die. But when you actually are trying to please God and say, you know, you know, I'm, I'm willing to die for this thing. That's when you'll find life. It's Mark chapter nine, verse three. Verse one, I slack you. And he said unto them, verily, I say unto you that there be some of them that stand here, which shall not taste of death till they see the kingdom of God come with power. So there's only some people that's going to be just transfigured. Just like how Yahweh Shai was transfigured right here. Later in this verse. And uh, this is verse nine. Verse nine, Mark nine and nine. And as they came down from the mountain, he charged them that they should tell no man what things they had seen till the son of man were risen from the dead. So Yahweh Shai made did miracles that he didn't even want everybody to know about. You know, you know, he didn't, you know, go around bragging about it, you know. So on uh, that note, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rokakadash, double honors to the elders of GMS, Ruel.
Peace and salutations to the elect, inshallah one.